Hey, how's it going? Andrew Wall here, and I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to live stream on YouTube the right way. I went full time as a live streamer back in 2011. I've done over a thousand YouTube live streams, and with my team, I've produced over 5,000 videos that got a billion views on YouTube. I've got all four YouTube certifications, and trust me, YouTube live streaming kind of complicated. It's more complicated than the other platforms. I'm going to make it simple and share with you the best tips, tricks, and hacks that you need to know to maximize your growth in terms of your audience and to get the most money out of live streaming possible. There are four types of live streaming available on YouTube. This is it. YouTube events, stream now, camera, and YouTube gaming, okay? I'm gonna explain exactly how all four of those work, how to set them all up, and what you should do with those four features. But first things first, you need to go into Creator Studio to get access to all of this. Do not use Creator Studio Beta at the time that I'm recording this video. Live streaming is not available there for the settings portion of it, okay? First things first, go to your channel settings right over here on the left-hand side and ensure that you have all live streaming related things enabled, okay? So so live streaming, be sure that this is enabled. Go ahead and agree to that. Embedded live streams, you need to go ahead and enable this if you don't already have that. Longer videos should be enabled. If you don't already have that enabled, go ahead and enable that. It is very important. But there are two important monetization features, Super Chat, as well as channel memberships that you need to ensure are enabled when you are going live. Super Chat and channel memberships will be the lion's share of revenue that you will make from live streaming. Super Chat is basically tips and donations, and, and channel memberships is a monthly subscription for people that like to tune into you live. Enable those as soon as you can, and push those during your live streams as soon as you can, because they will make a major impact on your success. Once all of that is enabled, go ahead and click live streaming here in the top left-hand corner, and you will notice on this tab, there are only three types of live streaming available. Where is YouTube gaming? Okay, let's clear this up first things first. YouTube gaming is dead. You're still gonna see it on YouTube. You're still gonna see a few menus that let you select it, but YouTube has announced that they have sunset YouTube gaming. So don't use the YouTube gaming app. Don't stream to YouTube gaming on anything. Don't select YouTube gaming. It's dead, it's going away. Ignore it, okay? So there are actually only three types of live streaming on YouTube that you need to be concerned with. YouTube gaming is not one of them. But wait, yes, of course, you can still live stream gaming to YouTube, the most popular way is through Stream Now, which is this menu right here. First things first when you want to set up Stream Now is to do a custom thumbnail. Do not let the default thumbnail be there. Your click-through rate will be terrible if you do that. Select a custom thumbnail, build one for your stream, Treat this as, as if this is a video that will be released later. Make it clickable just like you would do a normal YouTube video. Okay, when you're doing the rest of your metadata for live streaming, skip over all of this stuff here and just go straight to advanced settings. This is gonna pull up this menu right here and it is going to look very familiar for all of you that have uploaded a video before, okay? So do your title, 50 characters like normal, right? Do your description, the first 140 should be real juicy with SEO and your tags do at least five really good tags right here just like with any other video and of course, make sure it's public, of course, right? Cool. Then you're gonna to go to the advanced settings tab. This is where the real secret sauce happens. You wanna make sure 100% of the time that live chat is enabled. Do not enable slow mode unless you have an extremely popular live stream and you're having issues with so many messages. That's a good problem to have. A critical thing, especially for gamers, is to select the right category that your content falls under. If you select gaming, it will pull up a menu here where you can select which game you are streaming. 100% of the time you should do that. That will help you be discovered through YouTube search and later on if you release this as a video and it will help YouTube suggest your content to potential viewers. Select that game, select that category. Of course, select your language. Don't make YouTube try to guess what language your content is that will decrease your performance. All right, there's a couple promotional features over here you should be aware of, okay? 
Definitely check promote through cards when the event is live and definitely check promote through your channel when this is live. Okay. There are other ways that you can do this here when the event is live. You can do before it starts and what have you. I recommend with stream now only when it's live with stream now. Okay. And it'll automatically curate your live stream to the top of your channel. Make sure all of that's checked and allow embedding. Embedding will allow people to promote your live stream. Okay, this is where things get a little bit confusing and a little bit technical over here on the right hand side. I almost always recommend that creators enable recording. There's no reason not to record your live stream, especially if you want to refer to it later. Of course, allow for comments and allow people to rate and enable DVR. But where there is a decision for you to make is whether you want your live stream to be released later on as a video or not. And so this is where you select that. If you check this box, your live stream will be archived afterwards and be unlisted afterwards. So people that have a direct link will be able to see it. People that do not have a direct link, it will not be released in subscription feeds. So you have to make that decision whether to release it to subscription feeds, uncheck or not check right here. So that's a big decision for you to make. Okay, down here at the bottom, you're going to select your latency options. Low latency is by far the best option. It's very smooth and it allows for better real time interaction with your audience. If you don't plan to interact with your audience, use normal latency. It will slightly increase the quality and ensure that there's no glitches or stutters. Do not use ultra low latency. I highly recommend against it. It's a little bit unstable at the moment. And the difference between low latency and ultra low latency is negligible. Don't use ultra low latency. There's really no reason to do it whatsoever. Low latency allows for a five second or less real time interaction with your audience. Cool. Awesome. Monetization is important, especially if you plan on releasing this as a video later and running ads on it. So I recommend clicking all the buttons here to enable advertisements later on if you're planning on running ads on your content. You hit save down here in the bottom right hand corner and your live stream is going to be locked and loaded and ready to go. Awesome. That's how you do it. All right. So we go back to stream now and then all of your information will be saved within stream now and be ready to go. The place that you grab your information for you to be able to plug into XSplit or OBS or Streamlabs or what have you is to go ahead uh, down here at the bottom and you're going to select, you're going to go ahead and grab your server URL down here at the bottom and you're going to grab your stream key and you're going to drop that into your streaming software that's down here in the bottom. It's that simple my friends and you're just going to live stream direct to YouTube through stream now and it is going to work perfectly for you. As you can see there's shortcut versions of all the information I gave you here but it's not as detailed. That's why I recommended you go straight to advanced settings when you're doing stream now. That is stream now and if you do stream now you can be successful on YouTube. There is a better way to be successful on YouTube and it's called YouTube events. The big difference between YouTube events and YouTube stream now is that you can schedule these ahead of time and you can copy paste essentially completed events to new events so you don't have to go through this whole process over and over and over again like I just showed you with stream now. So what you're going to do if you set up an event it's already completed you can reuse a previous event as a new event. This is an amazing feature. You click this button and it will copy all of your settings from your previous events that you set up on YouTube as a new one and save you a ton of time and effort. And obviously time is money when it comes to live streaming. So it's going to take a bit to redo all those settings, but bam, here it is. All these menus are virtually exactly the same as stream now with the exception of this right here. You will schedule a time for your live stream to go live. So go ahead and select a future date in a future time. Be sure to select the right time zone. Okay, it will get confused about your time zone if you do not. And then go ahead and hit save. All of the features are exactly the same here as they are with stream now. There's no difference. But wait, there's more. Click the ingestion settings tab. This is the big difference between YouTube's events and YouTube's stream now. All right. So what you're going to do here, this is where you plug in your thumbnail in YouTube events is right here, right? So definitely do the custom thumbnail. And down here, you can do a reusable stream key where you can create new configuration for your stream. This is a bit more advanced in YouTube events than it is in YouTube stream now. So you create a new stream, you can name it 1080p 
uh, you know, 60 FPS, just depending on whatever you're doing. You select your bitrate. You can go up to 4K here, right? And you can enable 60 FPS and you can describe what is different about this live stream versus not. You go ahead and save your settings and it will give you a stream key down here at the bottom that you can use uh, for your live streams moving forward. I'm not gonna go down there because you'll see my stream key, but it is the same as any other stream key, trust me. Now there is the option to add a camera. You can click that. I highly recommend not clicking add a camera ever. Cameras are a feature where you can add basically a second camera within the UI of YouTube that allows people to see a second perspective from maybe your friend or whatever. You can name that camera and someone else can stream to the same live stream you're streaming and you can have a different perspective in like gaming, cooperative gameplay and what have you. I very highly recommend against using cameras because the second camera does not help you. And so whenever viewers go watch the second camera, it's eating up minutes watched on your content. It's eating up viewership and it's taking it away from your main live stream. I do not recommend cameras. Cameras hurt YouTube channels. Cameras are a terrible feature and YouTube should remove this from their platform immediately. They hurt live streams. Do not collaborate with someone using a camera, okay? Do not use this feature. I've tested it a thousand times. Do not use it. Great, then you're gonna go to the live control room after that and this is where once you start live streaming using your software, it will go ahead and pull up a preview option for you here in YouTube, in YouTube events, okay? Go ahead and click the preview button once you live stream and it will pull up a preview for you down here at the bottom so you can check out your live stream before you go live using this preview window here. This is very, very awesome. It allows you to check the quality, make sure your audio and video work. Once again, events is completely superior to YouTube stream now for reasons like this. The ability to preview your stream and make sure it's working. Also, you'll get that nice stream status. It'll tell you whether your data stream is super healthy right here. This is very good. Use YouTube events every single time. Trust me, it is very, very important. After this says preview and you click the preview button, then it'll say stream now. Your YouTube live stream will not be live until you click stream now right here. This is a big difference between YouTube stream now and YouTube's events feature. It gives you even more control to win your live and ensuring the stability of your live stream. That's why events are vastly superior to YouTube stream now. Cool? Great. The other thing I wanted to tell you about is how when you schedule an event to come up, in YouTube events. You can have people sitting in your live stream waiting for it to start. So that's something that's really, really cool about this. So if you schedule a live stream ahead of time, like a week ahead of time, or you can promote it two days ahead of time, or one day ahead of time, or 12 hours ahead of time, etc., your subscribers will see that live stream sitting on your channel, and they can sit there and chat and wait for you to arrive. This can give you that big punch of concurrent viewership when you're starting your live stream to get you boosted in the YouTube algorithm and to get you discovered even more. Briefly, let's talk about the camera feature, a new feature on YouTube that I recommend against everyone using. Do not use this feature, but I'm gonna explain it anyway. If you just wanna go live with a webcam and you wanna have a garbage live stream on YouTube, this is the feature for you. Okay, webcam allows you to enable a webcam. You can do some scheduling here with this. You can put in a title, and it's basically like the beginner's version of live streaming on YouTube, and you'll have a low quality uh, webcam live stream where you can interact with your audience. If you wanna get any traction on YouTube, if you wanna be serious about YouTube, do not use this feature. It, I'm not saying it is poorly made. It just is not conducive for the YouTube algorithm. It is very, very bad in terms of the YouTube algorithm. Those are the three streaming features. If you have any questions about them, post them in the comments below. I've done this a thousand times. I'm here to help you out. And be sure to subscribe and enable notifications if you want more YouTube certified advice on how to grow on YouTube. My name's Andrew Wall, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios amigos, and keep live streaming.